I just finished my practice here at the Shala and it's a perfect way to introduce the final and the seventh gift of the Ashtanga practice. And this one is for me, I kind of have to give you a little sentence here for it. Um, it's a thing that we do that affects every other aspect of our life. So it is a practice that touches every other corner, every other piece of my life. And so I start with the quote by Patavi Joyce, which is practice and all is coming. And, and then when I think of like, what is coming? You know, all is coming. I've been um, rereading Anatomy of the Spirit by Carolyn Weiss and studying the, um, the chakras and that map, that way of understanding our um, emotionality and our spirituality and that evolution and how to navigate our way through the challenges. Um, and as I was studying, I was reading about the seventh chakra and it just reminded me of what this last gift is really all about. And so I'm going to just read to you from the book, Anatomy of the Spirit. The sacred truth of the seventh chakra is energy motivates us to seek an intimate connection to the divine in everything that we do. And for me, it's like when I think about the seventh chakra, I think of that like light just in front of me, that light of trying to be my brightest, my best self, moving towards, as yoga is, you know, the path towards enlightenment for all of us. And, and so I think about that, I do this practice so that in every other thing that I do, my relationships, um, my, um, my, uh, the way I drive my car, the way I respond to a difficult situation, the way I appreciate something or somebody, it, it is all um, affected by this very old breath and movement and quieting and svadhyaya and parampara, all the things that we've been studying this semester, like all of those things are, are taken into every little corner and aspect of who Diana is, who you are. And, um, and so I also included one of my um, favorite inspirations by Joseph Campbell, um, part of the hero's journey. He said, life has no meaning. Each of us has meaning and we bring it to life. It is a waste of time asking the question when you are the answer. And I think this practice has given me that space in between um, going out there and being my best version of Diana, um, this one wild precious life, and really being able to say, you know, what is meaningful, what is, what is precious, is really determined to, um, really determined by my belief system, my thoughts, my perspective on things. And, and again, I, I really created this semester because I'm so in love with this practice after three decades, almost, you know, moving into four decades. Um, and I really also um, just want to make sure that as a teacher, someone who's passing on this light, that I'm always reminding you of really the, the depth and the beauty and the significance of being committed to Abhyasa this for today, tomorrow, a month, a year from now, a lifetime. And so your final gift this semester to take all the gifts from this practice whenever you're here for five minutes on your mat, for a half an hour on your mat, for two hours on your mat, to know that is this breath practice, this intentional practice that we take into everything else that we do. Blessings on your Ashtanga path.